Hi guys, welcome to my video today. I'm gonna share with you five quick and easy dinner recipes that your whole family will love. So let's get to it. So we're going to be having Swedish meatballs tonight and I just love using frozen meatballs for lots of different things and they turn out really great in the crock pot and I love crock pot meals during the summer so I don't have to heat up the house. So I have my frozen meatballs. I have a can of cream of mushroom. I'm going to do two cups of beef broth and this makes a really good gravy for these meatballs. I'm going to use Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of that. And then I am going to add in as well a packet of gravy mix. And that just gives us also some more awesome flavor. I'll add in some seasonings as well. You can add in um, some garlic powder, onion powder, some salt and pepper, and just season to your taste. I'm also gonna add in some cornstarch to help give this gravy some thickness. So I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of the cornstarch. Kind of made a little mess coming out of the container um, as lots of different powders do, but I'm adding in two tablespoons of that cornstarch. Gonna give this a good stir to mix all of those gravy ingredients together. I'm gonna cook this on low for eight hours or you can do high for four hours, depending on how much time you have. And I'm gonna give this a stir and these meatballs are so tender, so delicious. I'm serving with some egg noodles and a side salad. Very, very good. So I'm going to do a chicken salad and I'm using rotisserie chicken. I absolutely love rotisserie chicken. It is so delicious and so quick and easy and convenient. And my whole family loves anything with rotisserie chicken. So the flavor is just great. So I have my rotisserie chicken all shredded up. I have some diced celery, one cup. I have half a cup of dried cranberries and this gives it a really nice sweetness also. And I have a cup of mayonnaise and a teaspoon of dill. So very simple ingredients, very easy to make. And this is just perfect for summertime. It is refreshing and you can add this to so many different things. You can make it into a sandwich. Uh, we love putting it on croissant rolls. It's delicious on croissants. And you can put it just on crackers. You can put it on top of a green salad. You can do some lettuce wraps, which is actually what we're gonna be having tonight, is some lettuce wraps with this chicken salad. And it's just so refreshing. It has been very hot outside, so I wanted to do a no-cook meal for that. So we're going to use the Blackstone tonight and I'm going to be doing chicken fajitas. So I'm gonna prep the chicken, the peppers, the onion, and I'm just gonna cut everything into strips, season it up, and then we will put it on to the Blackstone. So you can add your favorite color of bell peppers. I just love green and red, they're just my my favorite of the bell peppers, but add in, you can do some yellow, you can do some orange bell pepper as well. So whichever you prefer. And just, I like to cut it in nice thin strips, kind of the thinner the better almost, and it just comes out really great. So I'm cutting up my onion now and just cutting it into some nice little strips and then it will be ready to go. We love using the Blackstone, especially you know, during the summer when it's warm out and I don't like heating up the oven and it just turns out these uh, fajitas turn out so so good on the Blackstone. If you don't have one um, definitely maybe you might want to get one someday. They are just amazing. We get so much use out of ours. You can do breakfast on them as well so just a really awesome griddle to have. So I'm adding in some olive oil and my fajita seasoning mix. You can do your own fajita seasoning mix, but I just love this one in the packet. It's just really convenient and we love the flavor of it. So I'm just gonna pour the powder in the seasonings and then I'm going to mix it all. I'm just gonna use my hands. I just washed them and I'm going to just toss this all with my hands to get it all nice and coated and give it all that wonderful flavor. So here's our Blackstone and it has the oil in it ready to go, all heated up. So we're gonna add on the chicken fajita mix. 
and my whole family loves this. My kids love fajita chicken. And like I said, this Blackstone just gives it an amazing flavor. It's quick and easy as well, which I love anything that is quick and easy. So you just keep tossing it around until it's nice and cooked and then you're ready to go. So you can serve this with a side of rice and beans. You can serve it on tortillas, which I like to do. I love these little low carb tortillas that I get. And then I also get these burrito size low carb tortillas, but um, whichever kind of tortilla you like, like the little street style kind, or you can make us more into a fajita burrito as well. So anyway, you want to serve this. It is just so, so good and a huge hit with my family. So anything that my kids really like, we usually have on repeat. So these chicken fajitas, we do them at least once a month, probably every couple weeks actually, because the kids just eat it all up, which I definitely like that. So these are super good on low carb tortillas with a little bit of cheese. So I'm going to be doing a homemade um, hamburger helper and we don't eat a lot of beef. We eat more chicken, but I'm trying to cook some more beef to mix it up a little bit. So I'm just mashing it up with my little meat masher and I just love this little gadget. It works so well. So I'm going to drain the fat from the ground beef after I've cooked it all up. I'm just going to use my little paper towel to drain it and clean out my pan. And now I'm going to make the rest of the hamburger helper. So I have my two cups of beef broth. I have my two tablespoons of cornstarch. I have my onion powder. I'm going to add in some other seasonings that have garlic powder as well. So I'm going to just add all of this into my skillet. I love this pan is perfect for this hamburger helper, but I am going to whisk it all together, break up those little clumps of cornstarch. And this is just a really great kind of sauce to help cook the noodles in for this hamburger helper. And this is just a really big hit with my family. So I'm just bringing that to a simmer, give it a stir. I'm going to add in a can of tomato sauce give it a stir again to mix everything keep it simmering and this is just it's really good and it makes a really big batch so if you are serving quite a few people or if you like leftovers we love leftovers so i love making big batches of things to portion out for lunch the next day or leftovers for dinner if we're having a super busy night we're just starting back up with soccer and the, the boys are starting school so we have been pretty busy and so I love having leftovers to make easy nights. So I have my pasta that is now all cooked with the sauce and really yummy and good. I'm going to add in the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to add in the cooked ground beef. You can do ground turkey as well. We do a lot of ground turkey, um, but definitely doing just the regular beef today. I shredded some cheddar cheese just from the brick because I feel like it melts better if you shred it yourself. I love buying pre-shredded cheese at the grocery store. It's just so convenient. But for this one, I shredded my own. Add in one cup of heavy cream. I'm going to give this a stir and let this cheese melt. And it is, this is really good. It's a great like comfort food to have and just really, really delicious. Cause I'm just going to keep stirring until this cheese melts all the way. Anything cheesy is definitely a hit in our house. We, we love cheese. So this one is definitely way up there in one of our favorites. So it's really, really good. So you can serve this with a side salad with your favorite dressing and this one's ready to go and super good. So I'm going to do a, my, one of my favorite crock pot dishes. We do a lot of chicken in the crock pot, but this is a French onion soup chicken. So I have two chicken breasts diced up. I have a can of cream of chicken and I have a packet of Lipton onion soup mix, which I love in a lot of different recipes. It just gives so much flavor and really, really easy. I'm doing two cups of chicken broth 
and I'm going to mix this all together. It has really, really great flavor. So I'm going to cook this on high for six hours. I don't have a six hour setting on my crock pot for, I'm sorry, on low. I don't have a low six hour setting. So um, six hours on low and it is just comes out perfect. I'm gonna serve with a side of rice and broccoli. And then once I have this chicken and the sauce on, I'm gonna add on some French fried onions. And this really makes this recipe really, really good. I think it's probably why I love it so much. These little fried onions are just amazing. So adding those on top, and this is just a delicious dinner. I hope you like these five quick and easy dinners that we had. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time.